Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is of course Electricity 101 and today we're going to be having a look at a battery backup system for your base. Before we get into it, I just wanted to mention that I originally saw this concept on Drizz's channel. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can go show him some love as well. But uh, I just noticed in his design a couple of flaws uh, that stood out to me and I just wanted to kind of address some of that, um, keeping in mind I think his ideas are fantastic. He comes up with some really good ones. So I go ahead and, and check him out. So on the right here, we have these lights representing power draw in your base. They could be lights, but they could be other things such as door controllers or any other components that are in the electrical system. With nine lights in here, the individual lights use two power each. So they're drawing about 18 units of power, which is almost a full solar panel here. So, what I'm going to do is just demonstrate if I cut the light off to these solar panels which cuts the power and I'll demonstrate that they are actually not drawing power as well that the lights actually continue to work. So we can see the shadows are on the solar panels and you see them switch over there now that's just simply because of the lag on this server I'm on about 400 ping on this particular build server but you can see that the electrical output on both of these is now zero and the root combiner is not putting any power into the circuit that's behind this wall. So, like I said, this is operating on a battery backup that automatically switches over when the power drops below whatever threshold you set. So, let's have a look at how to build it. Alright guys, so if you want to copy this design on a build server just so you understand how it works, you'll need two solar panels, a root combiner, two electrical branches, a battery of some type, I've gone with a large here, a blocker, an ore switch, and then of course whatever components you want for power draw, I've used a nine lights here. Now this is a very simple circuit, there's really not much to it. The most complicated part is just working out a couple of numbers which I'll go through at the end. Let's look at how to wire this up. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and wire this up. Like I said, it's a fairly simple one, so if you need to slow this part down, just go ahead and do so. We'll see you in a minute. Alrighty, so now that that's wired up, we just need to test if it's working. So all I really need to do is if I cover one of these solar panels, we can see that the blocker is now not blocking the pass through and allows power to flow from the battery through the ore switch and power the lights. We saw that quick little switch over there. If I remove that wall and allow the solar panels to generate more power, it switches back to just using the solar power or whatever your power source is. Alright, so now that we've done the simple bit, we're just going to have a look at programming the electrical branches to make sure that the circuit actually functions correctly. To do this, you need to know the power draw of your circuit. So, if each ceiling light uses two units of power each, and there's nine ceiling lights, I know that that's 18 units of power. I know that an ore switch uses one unit of power, a blocker or the block pass-through feature since the blocker is hooked up to the battery, so I don't need to worry about that. The block pass-through needs at least one unit of power to function. And then an electrical branch also uses one unit of power. Then this first electrical branch needs to send out on its branch 21 units of power. That's 21 units of power going into here, getting consumed one unit of power by this electrical branch, and then sending out the additional 20 through both its two outlets. So that means if I can figure 19 units of power to go out the branch, the leftover one is going into the block pass through here. The other 19 come into the ore switch. The ore switch uses one unit of power itself 
and then the 18 units of power get passed on to the base which if I come right to the last light here I can see that the pass through amount is zero so it's the exact amount necessary to power the base so that means if this electrical branch cannot send out its 21 units of power because it's not receiving that much then the power out socket will be the first to lose power which means the blocker or the block pass through feature of the blocker will no longer be active and therefore the power consumption from the battery will take priority now with a large battery it outputs a hundred units of power and if a hundred units of power is going into the input of the OR switch it is going to be the main source of power going into the circuit so like I said if I cut the power which is going to drop down to 20 units of power being outputted by the solar panels then that means that 21 units of power getting sent out by the original blocker no longer gets sent out and that means the circuit switches over automatically to battery power hopefully that makes sense and hopefully you can also see the difference between having automatic lights which uh, was one of the first circuits to really get showcased on YouTube and having all-day power this is especially handy with solar panels or wind turbines since both fluctuate throughout the day and can both drastically change depending on wind speed and height even at high heights you can have quite a high fluctuation of power being generated by wind turbines and it can be really handy if someone come along and tried to grief you in the middle of a, of a raid or something like that that you still have power for whatever's necessary in your base i hope that makes sense if you have any questions at all then hit me up in the comments and just like usual if you dislike the video then hit that thumbs down however if you did like the video smash that thumbs up subscribe to the channel and follow me on twitter the link will be in the description below any other links that i have mentioned in this video will also be in the description otherwise guys we will see you in the next one